Hey, Bishal Sarkar here. I want to talk to you about three things. Confidence, financial freedom, and courage. What do I mean by confidence? First of all, I'm talking about right now public speaking confidence. You will be very confident as a speaker when you're focused on a message and you're not bothered about what other people are thinking about you. When you let go of your judgment of other people's judgment of you, that's when you step into your power and confidence. Now, it is not just a mindset stuff. You also have to learn the skill, the skill physically, your physiology. You'll see that people who are not confident, they don't have strong physiology. I'm not talking about your physic, but how you use your body in that moment. For example, if somebody is depressed, they, they, they sit like this. When somebody is standing erect and powerful, that gives a good, different level of confidence. Confidence is required in your communication, the way you're saying, in the way you're doing stuff. People listen to your message second. They smell your confidence first. So remember that your confidence is the perfume that will make you smell like the sexiest leader in the room. Does that make sense to you? So confidence is the first thing. The second thing that you have to have is financial freedom. What do I mean by financial freedom? Am I talking about just money, money, money? No. See, a lot of the people in the world today will make Facebook ads. You will see YouTube ads saying, achieve financial freedom, 3x your salary in seven days. Like, you know, that's bullshit, right? What do I mean by financial freedom? See, people inside our program, people that have been coaching, they achieve financial freedom. In fact, watch this video of Palash. One of the partially of that is fulfilled to today morning. Wow. Uh, my, my, uh, obviously, it, it, it's written month after month, but this yeah. is the first time I have achieved uh, the first that, figure, that figure from my salary, uh, which is obviously after deduction of tax and everything, more than seven digit uh, mm. of income monthly. Wow, seven digit in Indian currency. Yes, Indian currency. Ah, after deducting all the tax and everything, month. Yeah. Right? It is Anandita who brought back the jewelry to her home. Check out the story. So out of all these different wins in different areas of life, and we can go and on and on, like I probably, I don't know how many, 80, 90 wins in the last six, seven months, right? That in the weekly win sheet. But is there a spe special win that you have that is special to you. Um, yeah. So I'm Michelle, to tell why. Yeah. Hmm. So I was trying to switch for a long time because I wanted some hike uh, in my salary and I was struggling in some of the financial areas. So finally, I did switch on March 7th to my new organization with a very good hike, a very good bonus. Hmm. And wow. Uh, so th that is the biggest win for me, not only because I switched, not only because of the money, but yeah. it's it's very special to me because, you know, like I was able to release all of my mother's old ornaments, like which was mortgaged for years. Wow. And, I, and I think this makes me prouder among all of my recent achievements. That's amazing. I didn't know this part. Yeah. So happy. So when financial freedom means you're moving forward, and you have the finance, but don't forget the freedom part. Sometimes people have so much money, but they are not free. They don't have mental freedom. They're con constantly stressed out about money. They're stressed out about everything. That's not financial freedom. So if you want financial freedom, you got to work on it. Hang out with people who embody the wisdom. Don't just have the knowledge. Oh, do SIP, do real estate, do this, do that. Uh, you don't want a complicated life. Like I have always wanted a simplified financial freedom where I for me, freedom financially means, first of all, I have location freedom that I can move around, I can travel. It's important to me, might not be important to you. Second, it's time freedom, very important to me that I have time to do and be me apart from the work and the value that I add, which is my passion and my purpose, which is the third point. The third is I need to have purpose freedom that I have the freedom. I might have time, I might, I might have location, but am I doing what I'm meant to do? Do I, am I living my purpose? Am I honoring my purpose? Very, very important stuff. The next part, my relationship freedom, meaning do I have freedom within my relationships or am I just bonded? Most people are bonded, you know? They're like, oh, I am this and that's all. Like, it's kind of like they can't be themselves. They are just being, they're busy being the father or the mother. They're busy being the husband or the wife. They're busy being the son or the daughter or, or whatever. But where is you, your relationship with yourself, your relationship with the divine, your relationship with nature? Nature is not something you do one weekend, you go once in six months. No, your divine, like, just check out. I'm, I don't have any sandals right now. This is my connection with the earth. Most people don't have that. Your relationship freedom. Then comes the freedom of money. Have I created assets? 
or do I just have liability? Most people think <laughs> that having a car is an asset. It's very sad that most people even today think having a house is an asset. Like technically it is. Actually smart people, if you ask wealthiest people in the world, see I have a house, but I'm not talking about it. I'm saying house is not an asset. The reason it's not an asset is because it's kind of like a dead asset. You can't move around money fast like this. So the biggest investment you should make is an investment in yourself. So financial freedom is the second part. So we spoke about confidence. We spoke about financial freedom. The third thing is courage. What do I mean by courage? By courage, I mean having the fearlessness to do what you're meant to do. See, at the end of your life, let's think this. If you ended, if your life ended today, would you be 100% happy? Or would you say, fuck, I just missed my chance. I wanted to do this, that, I wanted to do that, I wanted to do that. I never took the action because I played too safe. Huh, I played too safe. And that's the regret a lot of people have that I played too safe. Why? Because they never had the courage. They never had the courage to live their own dreams. They never had the courage to take action. They never had the courage to stand out from everybody. See, if you do what everybody is doing, then you are just another everybody. Think about it. If you're doing what everybody is doing, you are just another everybody. But only when you do something, for example, some of the people inside our program, they invest at a high level. Some of them pay in crores, some of them pay to get into a mastermind even. It's in, in, a, in a small tight group. These days, depending on you're watching it, it's a sizable investment. It's a big investment financially for most people. But after getting in, they see how it's the biggest investment I make and I'm getting thousand times ROI because of my new level of thought process and the radiant confidence and the, the, the intimacy I have in my relationships. Like this is what I've been missing. This is what the things that money cannot buy. You cannot go ahead, go to a store and say, give me love. No, you can't. See, you can buy a condom. You cannot buy trust in the sex. You can buy a nice lipstick, but you cannot buy that sensual touch that only she can give you. You can buy a nice jacket. You cannot buy that respectful hug that somebody gives you after transforming their life with your help. Do you, do you understand what I'm talking about right now? So these are the things that most people do not understand. So courage, courage is about fearlessness but fearlessness doesn't mean you have zero fear. It means you feel fearless for a moment. You know, I might be afraid of X, Y, Z, but I'm going to do it anyway. I think it was uh, Mr. Lidwin who once said that courage is not lack of fear. Courage is looking dead in the eyes of the fear and saying, I'm doing it anyway. That's courage. So we spoke about confidence. We spoke about financial freedom and we spoke about courage. This is what you got to do. And once you do it consistently and powerfully, the, the automatic consequence of that is you being a happy, confident and impactful millionaire or multi, multi, multi crore party. It can happen for you. It has happened for many of the clients that I've coached, that I've been coaching. And I see this all around the world. The only reason you are stuck is because of three reasons. Number one, you lack the vision or the belief in the vision. Number two, you don't have a mentor who can show you the path. And number three, just lazy, basically. Third is you say a lot of things, but you actually don't want any of these things. These are the only three reasons why you're not where you want to be in life. That's much it for you right now. Hope you're making a great day. Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection. I have been struggling a lot finding the right mentor, but the connection I made with him is I never had that connection with anyone, anyone, and that I always tell 